in this bit of software you're looking at um, applications in terms of generic applications and custom written applications generic applications well there's some good information given there for you um, as well as what of course what's written in the syllabus course text common applications this is a recap really um, those are what they are called when you are answering exam papers they're not called by their product name and the typical uses on the right hand side that's exactly the sort of thing you should be putting down you could get away with other things yes there's many other things you can do but you should stick to what those particular applications are meant to do and largely do rather than the obscure things that they can do or indeed the way you might even use them let's get them down to what they should be and that were intended when they were first invented for and the thinking quotation at the bottom which of these are sensible generic choices for given situations that's really the sort of questions you're going to be asked and this is a recap as I said on what we covered previously but let's get into custom written applications and that definition there is exactly what you need to learn off by art um, the reasons why they're chosen uh, well it's really down to particular organizations that have quite unique requirements or or problems that can't be solved which is very related really um, and when I say problems that can't be solved they can be solved when somebody programs um, writes something um, custom for them to use rather than just pick goes out and buy something um, those are really the reasons but you won't really be asked to define the reasons as such in a question and neither will you be asked to provide an example really I wouldn't expect um, although the second example given there is probably the something you should keep in mind genetic applications this is really where the questions are asked and you really have to get it inside your head genetic applications uh, they're really where the solution is made to fit the software whereas custom written applications the software is made to fit the solution so in other words when you take um, an off-the-shelf package a generic application say for instance uh, a word processing application Microsoft Word as you would have it then if you want it just for one particular use you're gonna have all the other things with it so you have to make it fit the particular use so you have to make the in other words say you might have certain things that you want to do which it doesn't quite do the way you want it or it, it may even have to not do them things at all whereas with the custom written it's p specific for that particular Thing that you want to do so the software is tailor-made it's there it's custom written exactly for that solution and this is really the crux this is the most important bit and when it comes to answering a question you really be asked you know why would you choose one over the other that's one over the other that's really the, the most common question and what's listed here as regards why you would choose one thing over the no over another um, what what is said that it's often cheaper is obviously directly the opposite for custom written and quickly available directly the opposite for the others and why is it not quickly available well, you've got to think that somebody's got to develop the software if it's custom written and all those other um, reasons you need to have inside your head because you'll often be asked for more than one so that question at the bottom um, that's worth bearing in mind as well